Welcome to the ArcGIS online manual based on river floods in Armagh. This is exercise 4, tutorial 1. Um, this is based on the future flood predictions and risk assessment. Um, what we're going to learn in this tutorial is the analysis of the town of Armagh based on the level of deprivation and the impacts of flooding will have on the most deprived areas in Northern Ireland and Armagh rather, sorry. Um, so I want you just to zoom out of the map. I'm already based on mine um, where we last saved it but if you haven't already signed in you know to go to your profile and then click on my content and then open your map in map viewer. So what I want you to do is click off of legend, click on content. I want you to click off the fire station's res services response time um, and instead I want you to search for the deprivation um, layer, it's the very top one. So if you just click that on, this is the Armagh District Council um, deprivation amounts. So deprivation is based on how much crime happens in an area, um, how many people are unemployed, um, how well they're being serviced by the emergency services. It's things like that. Um, so this is a multiple deprivation measure. But deprivation in an easy term is just how deprived someone is or how poor someone is um, based on where they might live. Now this, this can be a little wrong um, because it's assuming that everyone in this area, for example, is red. If we look at the legend, what, what does red show? It's showing that between a, a rating between 643 and 782. Now the multiple deprivation measure, the closer to the number one that it is, the more deprived it is. So really what it's trying to say is that somewhere that's red, everyone in this area is not very deprived at all but yet it's saying everyone who's living in a yellow area is very deprived. Um, so really the question is um, how accurate can that be? Because it doesn't mean that everyone in that area is deprived or very poor. Um, so it can be a little bit wrong. Um, so we're just going to zoom in to Armagh for now. And we can see that this is the only place um, in the Armagh District Council that has between 106 and 130 359 sorry um, as it's reading so it is the most deprived area in the Armagh District Council um, I also want you to turn on a layer so if you go on to content and scroll down I want you to turn on a layer that is called the 10 year flood extent so click on that and you see like a little yellow thing appears um, so in West Armagh so that's in this side um, there are more households predicted to flood based on the current flooded homes um, and then if we zoom in to the areas that have the um, flooded homes um, 10 year extent flooded homes or sorry not flooded homes uh, the 10 year flood extent we can see that there's going to be a lot more houses actually that are going to be flooded if we just look at this little area here there's going to be a lot more homes that are going to be flooded in the next 10 years based on the river agency predictions um, and obviously as this is the most deprived area in Armagh this is quite an issue um, so the question that I've outlined to you in your manual is what kind of protection measures would you put in place on this river to try and protect the homes that are in the most deprived area of Armagh um, so if you would just like to answer that question on your manual. Um, I want you to now turn off your multiple deprivation measures. You won't need it. Um, just turn that off. I want you to turn on the layer um, that is the 100 year flood extent. So you just click that on. And you can see that a little yellow one appears this time. Um, instead of a greeny yellow. And if we zoom in, say, to this area up here at the top, it's a little bit easier to see um, the differentiation up there. So we can see there's a lot of yellow here. So this just means that the green is what's how much the Rivers Agency is predicting the river is going to flood in 10 years time. The yellow is how much they were predicting it to flood in 100 years time. Um, so you can compare just how much it's going to flood um, over the next 10 to 100 years just by looking at this data set. So you can just kind of like look around the map and just, you know, analyze it yourself. How much do you think it's going to flood? So there's a lot of flooded homes down here. Um, 
as well as we can see a change in the flooding extent. So I'm just going to zoom into this area and scroll over a bit so we can see it a bit more clearly. We scrolled a little bit too far. I'm going to zoom out slightly. I've scrolled a little bit too far. So I'm going to scroll over, drag the map towards these flooded homes here and we can see the flood extents as well. I now want you to turn on a different part of the map. I want a layer, sorry, I want you to turn on the flood extent climate change 100 year. If we click this on, this is just how much climate change is going to affect um, the increase in a flooded river. Um, now, climate change you may not have uh, met in your curriculum and you may have met it in your curriculum, but climate change is something that is happening where um, a lot of global warming is occurring, so lots and lots of gases are going in, um, and greenhouse gases are going into the atmosphere and they're heating up the earth and this is creating a climate change. It's making winters really, really cold in places that it's normally quite mild and when the summer's really, really warm in places where it's quite mild and just making it worse in areas where it is really warm and it is really cold. Um, it's also things that people think are melting the ice caps. So really what we're trying to say here is that with climate change, let's say ice caps are melting, there's more water in the ocean, um, means that if somewhere was to flood, then the water would be already higher and the water table would be higher. So really the Rivers Agency have created this data set to try and say with climate change, this is how much more we then expect it to flood in a hundred years time. Um, so we can see the red areas and some of them are quite big. So what I want you to do is to try and um, measure just how far um, the river buffers are um, based on the flood extents of climate change. So you can measure it um, based on, say, the 10 year and the 100 year and you can try and see how much more it's going to flood in that time. But I'm just going to do it for how much of a change there is between the 100 year um, and the 100 year with climate change because that's really interesting like how much of a change is climate change going to make um, to how much our rivers flood um, based in Armagh so I'm just going to drag it down to this big area that has a lot of red in it and I will click on the measuring tool and then click on distance I'm going to change it to meters and I'm going to click on the edge of it here and then click on the edge of it at the end I'm trying to keep it a straight line distance and that's 25.8 metres. That's a lot of distance. That's a lot more that the river is going to flood. 25 metres could make the difference of maybe 10 homes. Um, so although this is a river, this comes into play at the coastline as well. How much is our coastline going to erode? That's where climate change is really important. And you will probably meet it more in your later studies in geography. Um, so really I just want to recap what we have learned in this part of the exercise. Um, we have learned based on the rivers agency flood predictions for the next 10, 100 and 1000 years um, where Armagh is going to be in real danger of future river floods. Um, based on the one 2010 deprivation data that came from the NISRA, um, the estimate damages and the possible effects of flooded homes, on flooded homes in the areas that are